So this was a day that I was burning some slash. And because there wasn't a lot of wind, as you can tell from the smoke there, I decided to put the drone up. It has, hasn't been up for a while. And so up it went. Uh, I always uh, have to get up above the power lines and things around my yard. I know how high they are, so I'm just taking it slow and easy here. One of the first things I always do is go out over the creek and uh, past these trees. I know how high they are, so get on up a little more. And just check the field, the cornfield, to see how it's doing. That big swath you see at the bottom of the screen there, that's from some flooding we had a few weeks ago. Very, very heavy rains. The creek really filled up. And that field was a real mess. So I'm afraid the whoever farmer leased that land from the Forest Preserve lost quite a bit of crop in there. Something I've wanted to do for a while is to fly to the east. Well, no, that's not east. That's the speedway. i got to turn around the other way and fly out to the east. There we go. And uh, kind of there's a gap in trees here, and I, although I'm above it, I want to fly out through that gap, turn south, come around the tree that you see at the bottom right there, and then, and then uh, bring it back in and see about landing it so that's what I'm doing here off we go all right come on there we go I take it on out a little more as long as I have line of sight I feel safe with it if I I haven't pushed it beyond the trees and losing the line of sight of course we're supposed to keep line of sight right but if I push it beyond the trees with the trees interfere with the signal these telephone signals are line of sight, and I don't want to lose the controller. Of course, the drone would come back because of the one-key automatic return. Anyway, turn toward home. I decided to park it in the driveway, and I realized as I was bringing it down that I have another wire I have to be sure I get over. It's on the other side of my neighbor's property, so I uh, jockeyed a little bit. I like the Potensix stability. You don't get much jelly as long as you're moving steadily. If you get jerkiness here, it's because I'm stopping the drone, so its GPS is taking over and positioning itself. So I heard my neighbors come home, and I bounced the drone there as my new neighbors were pulling up. I decided, uh, since I'd talked to them about flying the drones, I thought I'd take it down the driveway toward them, but they were busy getting stuff into the house and apparently didn't, uh, didn't hear it. Or, so I just flew on down the driveway a little ways. Not far, because I don't want to get involved with that power line that's running along the street there. So we just turn it around and see how smoothly I can bring it back. My goal here is to land it at the edge of the shadow to the left of the garage there. That's where it had taken off originally, and I didn't want to use the one key. So bringing it down, using FPV as much as possible, but when I get down in these quarters, I tend to watch the drone because there are a lot of obstacles here. Like that flag hanging there, that little flag pendant. So I'll take it on to the left of that, get it toward the back. And then I decided to fly down toward the fire a bit and then thought better of it decided to land instead after I'd landed I decided to take it up again go down and shoot some video right over the creek in the fire which I did forgetting of course that when the drone lands it turns off and that that cuts off the video not one of my finer moments but um, I just brought it in to land it and there it is Happy with that one.